What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the uh, Lights of St. John. So to remind you what happened last time, uh, we successfully attacked uh, Montreal and took it for ourselves and we also took the French capital of Paris and made peace with them. Um, however, that will probably not last for very long because we're about to have a lot of rebellions. So I want to uh, repair everything we can and be ready for the inevitable fights that follow and I do want to try and kind of build up some of these coaching inns but it will just be a question of holding on um, yes so one of the areas I would like to experiment with is what's we'll say experiment with take you fellows replenish what you can and march down towards Tripoli because Tripoli is now a good Catholic nation good Catholic region and it also provides an avenue for these guys to head west to attempt to interfere with our empire rather than attacking elsewhere and we are one turn away from steam engines which should allow us to build a steam pumped iron mine so I may even deploy you guys firstly I want to deploy take the bulk of your actual fleet sail you over to Safaki because this is the fleet who was tasked with guarding my harbour Guarding Malta. You generally want them inside. You, want, you generally want your defending or an arm, a navy like this outside of your port. Because if you've got a navy inside, then they do not get access or they do not contribute to battles to free the port. So you want to have a guy in there holding them so they can't raid it. And then you want to have your main force outside ready to smash into them. Algiers, you still have religious unrest, even though you've got almost entirely Catholic uh, population. We are now researching like the devil, because we've got access to Orléans and the new new generation or top tier technologies. But yeah, right now, this is a bit of an exhale moment after doing the, all this damage to France. And then strengthening our position to do it again. But I think my main focus will be on growing my navy to try and dominate a good portion of the Mediterranean. Yeah, they knew. They knew. I want to dominate the Mediterranean to a certain degree to guarantee my trade, because I'm relying on trade, as I have no tax empire. And I would like to deny our enemies freedom of movement of troops which they could use to sail around and hit more vulnerable areas. Catholic missionary in England. You're okay to stay where you are, I would suppose. Let's get a steam engine factory there. These troops inside. So they are still minus four. They're not as unhappy as they could be. Okay, tech advances. Yeah, they rioted and broke a seminary. Which one? This one. So they will rebel. Before we do too much upgrading like this, what I would like is to pick up a, preferably a sloop. Can I only recruit them from dockyards? take a sloop of war just to sit in this port just to keep it occupied firstly I want to go over to here down to Cadiz and get a steam dry dock building which according to this screen here I can't build first rates so I can build Admiral's flagships but I'm already maxed out but I'm hoping this is wrong because I can't build them in a naval hospital because I've already got one of those I can't build first rates. This army's being built. You could probably do with a Cudossier because you're in Spain or the Iberian Peninsula. Now I've got another army to join the fight who's got a pretty good general. But chiefly here, I would like to recruit a general and then start to pick up some more men to go and fight the rebels when they show up 
let's pick some new techs. So Hartford, you're on diamond formation. We don't quite need so much. Probably would like copper bottoming, copper bottoms, improved coppering. Evora is continuing with the farming technologies. We don't have interchangeable parts. They so don't have a steam engine factory yet. Okay, let's upgrade this iron mine. And let's upgrade this iron workshop. Let's hop over to the Americas. Keep you marching up towards the rebels, because that's quite a nice and fairly simple um, take. And we've still not fully repaired everything in Boston either. Which isn't great. I probably don't need the university, but right now um, I'm, I'd be happy with as much tech, tech as I can get. Uh, you actually no, don't, don't, don't attack them yet. I would like to uh, do a bit more replenishment with them first and foremost. Yeah, I don't mind the French priests wandering around because there are guys. Yep, so that's a lot of, a big chunk of our money gone. But again, there's not a lot I can do about that. I can't actually stop them from, well, I, I suppose I could park my fleet outside the port. And then I would have a choice of intercepting them before they got into range. Which is certainly doable um, until a big fleet shows up. Yeah, the money the money question that, that that's gonna hurt that uh that blockade yeah it's a blockade you can't, yeah we we cannot let it stand fortunately they've just got a jebek so i can just send if i send three four freights that should be enough to tip the auto resolve calculus that we don't actually lose any Go. It's, it's actually very tempting to do this. Malta's within our field of within, is within our um, area of effect, and we're also sucking up a bunch of money from the United Province, not United Provinces, the Ottoman Empire. France is down to minus one after a rebellion. That's not bad. You're enough to take them out, that's for sure. Portugal's up and ready to go. I'm tempted to deploy these forces against the Ottoman Empire, because they have a significantly smaller empire now that the Prussians have gone through and smashed them to bits. Cairo's quite a good region as well to hold. Yeah, they just about managed to leave. Let's march over to Cartagena and let's probably pick up a unit of militia. Well, it is concerning how much non-effort I'm putting into this into this uh, theatre. Go take Rupert's land. Uh, the Huron. How are the Huron looking? Allies with Russia and France. That's tempting. It's tempting to use them as our springboard to start off war with France again. Because then it means we don't have to declare or risk declaring on Sweden. But I do need Paris to be uh, settled down. And I would desperately keen to see if the steam dry dock solves our naval woes because if not then we end up needing to produce or rely on an almost entirely land-based strategy as we won't be able to compete um end game at least not without resorting to 
over oh, I didn't fight the damn rebels. Um, at least without resorting to overwhelming attacks. The Prussians have taken Genoa. Which means they are getting closer to our front lines. And I'm hoping that will bring them into con into uh, conflict with France. Really, I'm hoping they go to war with Sweden. No, leave our seminaries alone. That's going to make people unhappy. Although I suspect that's kind of the point. You're down to minus eight because of the loss of religious happiness. So you guys build the seminary. Keep upgrading the boarding house. New port emerges in New Granada. It's pretty useful. Trade a port and guess. No, not a sixth. Get a militia unit to go occupy it. But first and foremost, you... Why can you not... Is that really the quickest route? <laughs> Looks like it, following the road. It does, the trouble is it does mean it pushes them towards the center of our territory. Which I don't really want. But this is the way of putting out, or putting down rebellions, is that they never end up going exactly the way you would like. There is always usually some sort of issue. So they've got a more balanced force, but we've just got good infantry. So I'm fairly confident. Fairly confident. Very confident. They got puckle guns, and puckle guns are terrible. Especially if they're not going to actually unlimber their artillery in a quickly enough to deal with our infantry assault. 117th, 115th, the 6th foot guards. Splendid. So you've got line infantry. The 24th, the regiment de la Reine. And militia. Chasseur à cheval. And some lancer guards. Well, we're going to shred your cannons to pieces first. They might be pushing the Lancer Guards up onto our flank. You guys make ready and shred their artillery. Hey! Fusiliers. There we go. Their gunners are having a... torrid time. I'm going to gang up on this unit of Fusiliers, because Fusiliers are quite deadly. They might be deadly. We've just got so much more firepower to bring to bear. They've broken, but I don't know for how long. So they are a good unit. They've not lost a crazy amount of their troops. So let's see if we can get our general to intercept the siege artillery. Yeah, the main striking power is going to be is going to be these guardsmen on the flank here. Although I think they might make it, because for whatever reason, my general's cavalry is pretty slow. Am I 
going to lose some of my general's bodyguard. Chase him down. Eh. Fuse laser. We've lost too many men, surely. They are going to safely route, sadly. Let's keep our cavalry behind, ready to take out this unit of puckle guns. Yeah, <laughs> puckle guns. These rebels are... Yeah, they're confident. I think if their puckle gun's been, dis been destroyed, it looks like they have. general where he is because it looks like they're going to form forming some kind of advanced formation Fusiliers got back up to winning because our infantry was relocating there we go let's push Push up the entire line. Push up our guards as bait for their cavalry. Fuse layers have broken once more. Keep an eye on them. Though, if they come back, we'll pivot our line safely again. Let's bring our general back now, because it looks like he's attracting some unwanted attention. It's poor 24th Regiment point-blank range with so much firepower. Let's deploy this guard unit into square because it looks like these guys are going to give chase. So let's run my cavalry back through my own square formation. Everyone else has been wiped out. Come on, Chasseur Chaval. Continue your attack. We're right here. Run these guys up to face the Lancer Guards. I think the sick are more than enough. There we go, they've done some good work against Chasseur Cheval. I was hoping they'd kill this guy. Then let's just run him into position and I'm going to fast forward time because it looks like these guys don't want to move. Oh no, there they go. <laughs> I'm just going to run into a position where my guys can just shoot them to bits with their muskets. Ah! 
So they did not kill them, but they got some good kills. Continue to chase them down and also request probably some cheap cavalry from Paris to raid south to help take them out. I've sorted this out. Okay, let's do a bit more of this kind of stuff. Let's build, build some walls here at this outpost and start to trickle in some militia to help act as a sort of garrison. You guys undoubtedly are a garrison because, uh, well, look at all these troops off the coast. Could deal with could do with taking this out army out really. Just deny them the trade. But I'm very much keeping an eye on. No, ah, that's not really a fight. I'm just going to auto that. Let's capture it. Let's replenish it. Let's pick up. Uh, do I pick up the trap post? Okay, do I, do I upgrade a trap post or do I build a new one? That's the question. I think I build a new one and then build a road. Let's get ready to pick up a pick up a new actually how much is a yeah get ready to build another another army well to be honest I could just finish this army off you need either some elite infantry or heavy infantry but it doesn't look like you can get either of those until you get a army staff college So it looks like one more infantry will have to do. Then I'll march you guys to about here. Ready to push down into French territory. No more immediate technologies coming. Let's hit end turn. This army's marched up. Oh, I, f I forgot to... So one thing I do need to do is replenish my force near... Uh, not Tunisia. I can't remember now. Force in North Africa. Right now it's got... Uh, it's quite depleted. No. No alliance. But yeah, the main reason is I need that good tax income. Because, you know, as you saw... If my navy gets blockaded by any sort of halfway competent force, then uh, then my economy is done. See, they're still unhappy, but they're not as unhappy. I mean, yeah, your seminaries, you've all been fixed. Some weavers' cottages in Guatemala. These are the kind of things you really need to do. Steam powered sugar mills. Oh, I forgot. Steam engines. Steam pumped mines. Good stuff. Although it is kind of rewarding bad behaviour because we are pouring money into a income type that we know uh, could just be could be cut off actually i'm going to stop stop the construction of this one to go do what i just chastised myself for oh there's only one unit that needs replenishing oh okay put triple under siege then bring them out on siege I'll bring them out to siege if that is what they desire. Average yield mine. Let's 
suppose it may as well get a mining industrial complex in Algiers. To be honest, I can probably just move this priest out of here now. Because Algiers, they've got a bit of religious unrest, but they're still generally quite happy with this. Same with Tunisia. Bit of religious unrest, but generally quite happy with this. I don't really want to build I don't, re don't really want to be doing any more knocking down of seminaries yet because you can well it's evident how important they are to keeping me afloat in this theatre army four infantry well three infantry by the looks of it or I suppose better thing to do is to finally oh, I can't repair either of these things damn oh I can repair the government chambers okay good they like us a lot but it's tempting to build a catholic building or a church school over here probably okay this happiness building is probably a bit surplus for requirements because we're plus eight with no garrison and they've still got another eight more to go from resistance to foreign occupation dropping down, so even if I lose this five, I'm still massively ahead. Okay. Two more turns till we start to get better, more resilient to famines. How far are we away are we from that steam dry dock? Two turns. Okay. Okay, good. Because Prussia... Oh, no, not good. Where are they going to drop off those troops? Yeah, we're being sallied by the garrison of Tripoli. Good. Because we may have to uh, respond to a Prussian landing somewhere. Although it's a good sign they sailed around my fleet. It does suggest they have... They did not want to make battle. Which is promising for us, I think. But yeah, it is still concerning. Again, I remember this terrain. So let's put our native infantry in the centre of the guns because they're going to be a bit... They're going to be more... They are going to need the more more support that I'm provided from the artillery than my regular line infantry will. Five. And limber the howitzers and preload them with quick lime. Cavalry on each flank, general in the centre. Curious where our guns are. Field artillery are going to be engaging. We're climbing the hell out of some armed populace. It's always a good way to spend the opening, the opening salvo. Okay, both of these. Are you are you able to fire at me? Ooh. Let's keep blowing holes into the centre of the... Hey, are you guys going to try and charge me? Although you are... Skirmish Cav, I suppose. Oh, that's a 
charge. You wait, a good quick line shell lands on your head. Blast a quick a canister shot to them. Shattered. Good stuff. Continue making a breach. You guys can't spend forever in your walls. So we've got some Sekaban Janissaries, some Semak Janissaries, Semini, nine pounders at the back. Speed up time. Oh no, actually one of these units does have a viable quick set of quick climb targets. Janissaries, pikemen, it's not to like. To be honest, it looks like the other one's going to as well. dropping them on the gate <laughs> but they are moving up okay look at these are uh, five left out of 29 Push this set of guns to start attacking the attacking some of the troops marching up to them. But yeah, we need a way in so our cavalry can rush in and knock out the guns once the battle's over. Although our spies do have have the gates open. Oh no, they don't. They're just being buggy. Look at these Armenian archers. It's very nice of them to march so slowly and willingly into our hollow. Damn. That's a bunch of Janissary Grenadiers down. Who's engaging the Janissaries? I don't know what you're engaging. These Janissary units have been damaged. Okay, these guys might you might actually now focus on the seg bands, so you can get a bit of a two for one. You're also gonna hit the Semat to the rear. run my flank companies in to get more to get more hits let's actually focus this howitzer on to be honest there's nowhere else for them to focus canister shot and then let the volleys begin this is the thing this is the thing you definitely can't do with I might actually throw my colonial light into the mix now to chase down those pikemen because that's not very many men. They've not lost very many, very many men, which means they will be uh, they will be coming back. Might lose a couple of cavalry from fire by rank here. Yeah, there they go. There they are. Don't have a great window. So 
Let's use this artillery piece to focus on the other flank. Uh, you can keep firing at them as well, to be honest. I might even just use my colonial lights to kill the Janissaries down here. You might send their pikemen on a bit of a merry-go-round. As they wheel left into range of my infantry once more. But yeah, this is classic example of what you definitely cannot do with the Ottomans is slowly walk towards the other guy's line. Need to move up hard and fast. And specifically focus on uh, some particular pieces of the line rather than my weakest infantry. Probably want to focus on their uh, on my guns. Let's push up a little bit. Yes, they do have some reinforcements. Janissary infantry guards, Janissary musketeers, Janissary grenadiers. But this is exactly the kind of defensive battle I want to fight. Something where I can just mow them down with artillery long before they ever become an actual problem. Focus the jump bodyguard. You guys just set them to start attacking the infantry guards and just kind of assume that they will wander into our position. 60 Janissaries, that's enough there. 60 Jan yeah, 60 Janissaries, that's enough. Get you guys back up here. artillery let's hop over to the fifth light to be honest there's no one in here so I could run in they ran some horsemen out so I might just Although it looks like they are after me. Yeah, it's intercept. It's not what I'd like to do. I'd rather run into the city, but I think I'm going to have to do it. Lots of losses on both sides at the front. Front end of this engagement. My cavalry away. We beat the horsemen. Good stuff. Catch a few of them that are still in our combat and kill them just to make the odds even more in our favour if they come back. Now run inside. So you're just provincial, provincial cavalry. These are just yeomanry more or less so you want to be a bit careful with them oh, the door shut the infantry guards are getting within range the horseman did come back 
trot towards them to try and recover some energy. There's no time for that. It's got a charge. Taking out their guns. So send the provincial cav on into the Armenian archers. I suppose the point is it is very much in our favour is that we've got such more experienced cavalrymen. Still winning, 52 versus 41. These Royal Janissary Infantry Guards are going to go down though. Yeah, there they go. Again. Attack them a little bit just to kill any that are particularly close to us. There we go. Now they're shattered. Although now we have lost our strength, sort of. Chase them down a little bit with these cavalrymen. You guys walk into the centre. To be honest, just take my... Take my line and do something like this. I might keep my provincial cavalry around at the back to uh, chase down and destroy as many men as they can possibly get their sabres into. I, mean, I know Armenian archers aren't high on the list, but... This is an army not incredibly full of high-quality troops. case then and I probably want to be a bit more careful on who I target because there are some troops here Go after those giant three musketeers if you're going to walk in a funny direction. Charge my light into their artillery because their general is leaving it unprotected. Run some infantry in here as well. There we go, the mus giant three musketeers are done. Stop the artillery fire to prevent any awkwardness. There we go. The handy thing is when they're mounted like this, they just they the entire teams die in one go. So there is no question of you know I mean obviously when you kill them that's what happens, but there is no question of, you know, how many are left. It's no, the entire team does. But these guys look like they've, they did deploy, so they have to be killed as a gun crew individually. Although there's only one left. You guys chase down that one gunner. Then the general. That's every everyone else is dead. 
You've got these Janissary Musketeers down. Good stuff. Then go hit the Janissary Grenadiers. Everyone else in the centre is fighting the General's bodyguard, who is likely not going to stick around for very long. So let's notch up the speed. Because, yeah, when it's just troops attacking a general's bodyguard unit that's just not a not a problem continue to my provincial cav unit and let's just watch them chase down these janissary grenadiers it doesn't well, they because they didn't attack us no we didn't attack them they attacked us so may as well do some uh, slaughtering There we go, now it's all down to that unit back there. Who has routed? Good stuff. The, yeah, that reinforcing army's done. They've brought in more troops to support them, which is good. I want to see the state of that Prussian navy. If I can find it, I can't actually see where it is at the moment. Might auto resolve to see how much damage we can do. Uh, they lost 500, 300 men. It's not bad. And it drew up some of their movement points. Used up some of their movement points, I should say. And you can go in to the mines. Auto resolve. Oh, they're not even dead. Send you guys out. The morale is actually okay. Can we even tax you now? We can! Glorious. Let us combine our cavalry. Let us replenish the damage. And let's take this army down to here where you can have some artillery march up to meet you and some marines so where is that big scary fleet looks like they might have actually used it if I sail around here I mean, it looks like it's that one which is yeah. Let's just sail down through here a minute just to check it's not. I mean, it looks like they're at war with Sweden. Spain, rather. Sorry. Don't worry. One more turn. There we go. Let's just start building more fourth rates. Let's take one of these fourth rates out and sail it up the Adriatic, if possible. And knock out these ports they're building. So there's a big navy. It's not super strong, but it's big. Let's get our fourth back to the main fleet. Okay, let's do some industry upgrading in our highest value areas. chiefly because we have to really maximise the amount of money we earn. So we're repairing all this stuff. New Granada's got a port but we can march up this unit of militia to meet them. Your walls are building and we're slowly building up a militia garrison here. Boston is nearly entirely repaired. You need more infantry. You can build a craft workshop. Okay, let's hit in turn. So that Prussian fleet looks like they uh, went into port and deployed their troops into Genoa.
sail around our fleet. Good stuff. Although, it's clear we won't have naval superiority against the uh, against the uh, Prussians for too long. And the Ottomans are being frustrating. At the very least, it's costing, it's causing the uh, the Prussians. The Prussians actually beat the Genoans. Actually, beat the Prussian navy, which is excellent news. Although they have captured, the army has captured Naples. Persia. You went Louisiana, will you trade with us? No. Greece hasn't previously. Nope. Neither has Denmark. Okay, so is that our steam dry dock? Please, 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 no! Why? Why can I not build first rates? I mean, I've got there shouldn't be a tech I'm missing, because I should be able to build them. I've got the top level military building. I have got a steam at dry dock. Oh, God alive. This is going to be a slaughter. So we've got a new town in New Granada. Good stuff. Let's make it a smith's. Expand our colonial economies expand our production let's go down here and upgrade actually no before we do that boston repair the engineer school because right now we need howitzers that's what we need that you guys can finally start to build up your actually you might get two infantry howitzer Probably not to actually you might just want two houses an infantry unit. Yeah. Prussia is a concern. It very much is. We can't trade with the because they have nowhere to trade. Uh two. They now have a dry duck. This army behind our lines. So you're going to march north and try and head around them. You can carry on marching. Tunis garrison is... Can't replenish, I guess. Oh, we have no money. That's why it can't replenish. So he is on to the threshing machine. Is that threshing machine? Yes, it is. That's okay. Maybe carronades. God, well that no, no first rate is a real kick in the ass. Like, we can't, I'm not going to be able to fight off top tier fleets. So, hmm. maybe... That might be an indicator that this campaign may end up becoming a a true long campaign rather than a world domination. Uh, simply because it's going to be far too frustrating to fight a world domination when you can't even build top tier navies. And I don't know what I don't know what I want to do or what I can do. Uh, auto resolve. Oh, it's a pretty depleted fleet. Bar attempting to capture and abduct every single major capital vessel I find. Oh, it's, just, it's just really annoying that I can't build decent ships. Let's hop over to here. March you back. Actually, just, just get into a safe position. Lots of raids. So we've got diamond formation, which I'm not overly concerned about. But now we're back on to light infantry doctrine. 
army destroyed. That was our garrison here. That's okay. They can be destroyed. Upgrade the ports. Upgrade ports. Upgrade our farms. I'm starting to earn quite a serious amount of money now, really. So I need to keep it on a roll. There we go. We're levelling up the entire British Isles. Good stuff. To be honest, in terms of objectives, then, how far away are we off? <laughs> We're only three more regions off. Well, I'm sorry, fellows. This campaign may be ending much sooner than you think. Um, yeah, I would be... I would be much keener to continue this to a true world domination if I could build first-rate ships of the line. But I cannot. I have multiple buildings with the naval... naval buildings, so it's not a question of... Well, like Portugal hasn't got... has got an admiralty on naval board, but Madrid's got a naval college... London's got Naval College. I've got access to the top tier tech. I've got a steam dry dock, which I can't build first rate. So I've maxed out my admirals, but I can only have three. And I've also got a Naval Hospital, so I know it's not impacted in that sense. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is, if... Hmm. Right. I'm not going to make any decisions now. I'm going to have to mull it over because my I did have a previous Brutiite plan. I don't know. Maybe. Is this a campaign that then ends? Do I then put a faction vote in? I don't know. Do I? Do I? Do I? Hmm. So there's a chance that this campaign may naturally terminate and then I will carry on with my Louisiana, Italian States and Muslim and Empire campaign until uh, the Brutii, Rome Remastered comes out, then Rome becomes is in the cycle. Um, although I suppose that's a bit mean because I did promise you guys I'd keep these going and do Brutii, so to, you know what? Screw it. Faction vote time. That's what's going to happen. Um, obviously don't get ahead of ourselves yet when this campaign ends no, I'll probably explain that now I haven't finished the campaign yet um, in which case I may as well end up declaring war on the French just because just because um, I've only got to capture three more territories for the campaign to be over and I'd rather you know, attack a powerful ally rather than do something annoying like I'll take Martinique and then I'll go take Tripoli. I actually just want to go, no, I'm going to fight the French. Okay, let's hit end turn. Uh, you take the howitzers and a unit of marines. Yeah, so the fact that I can't build first rates to me is it's enough. I've done enough on this campaign and if I could build first rates I would carry on. But I cannot. Again, reject Russia's alliance. And let's go Fight some more. Fight some more enemies. So you... I mean, you push on to keep moving up to Cairo. Got some new towns. Uh, you've been blocked, but that's okay. I don't really care. Upgrade our industry there. Brunswick, you upgrade the industry there. You guys march up. March up and pick up another colonial line unit. But yeah, probably move in. Attack Cayuga. Take this army, move in. 
and hit maybe Albany, take this reinforcing army in and land and hit Pennsylvania. It's probably going to be where it goes. Let's upgrade. Keep going with these. Economic upgrades, top tier mines have been built, which is excellent. So what are we on now? 45,000 a turn. We are cranking it out. Cranking money out. Keep, keep upgrading the ports, keep upgrading the mills. Keep upgrading the farms. Okay, let's go. Take Remy Riccoli. March him north of this force and then... Then we will fight them. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Don't get it. Don't get excited about when... A new faction vote is coming. It will it will arrive when it arrives, when this campaign ends by meeting the victory conditions. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.